So whether you have a dry skin, you have an oily skin or a combination skin or even a sensitive skin, there is a sunscreen for you in this video. Yes, I do not leave any skin type out. Hello besties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking about sun protection and I have a list of the best broad spectrum sunscreens available. If you are all about maintaining a healthy, radiant skin, free from dullness, free from dark spots, sunburn, then this video is a must watch. So the most important thing you can do for your skin is to wear a sunscreen every single day. Come rain, come shine. That is the way to keep your skin youthful and healthy for a very long time. Yes, you have to use it every day because the sun can get you anywhere in the gym, in the car, in your home, in your office, anywhere the sun can penetrate your windows. That means that your skin can be damaged even while you're in your house. So the fact that you are at home is not an excuse for you not to use a sunscreen. In addition to skin cancer and every other thing, UV exposure also causes um, premature aging. And I believe that nobody here wants to look older than their age. We even want to look younger than our age, right? So that is it. The most effective sunscreen is the one you like to use. The one you want to use every day. Not the one that you refuse to use because it is uh, making your skin oily it's making you sweat you have to get a sunscreen that is compatible with your skin i did mention in my previous video on sunscreens that we are all looking for something a bit unique when it comes to sunscreen you might have an oily skin and you want something that will give you this matte finish on your skin you might have a dry skin and you want something that will give you this hydrating dewy finish on your skin so that is why you have to make sure that you purchase a sunscreen based on your skin needs so whether you have a dry skin, you have an oily skin or a combination skin or even a sensitive skin, there is a sunscreen for you in this video. Yes, I do not leave any skin type out. There is a sunscreen for you in this video, no matter your skin type. So let's jump right into the first sunscreen on my recommendation today. The first sunscreen I'll be reviewing today is the La Roche-Posay Antelos Shaka Fluid SPF 50+. This is a very high protection broad spectrum sunscreen with a fluid formula that is like it's like water and it is sweat resistant water resistant and sand resistant it has a ppd of 46 if you don't know what a ppd is please watch my last video on sunscreens i will attach the link in the description box or as a pinned comment so what makes the la roche pose antelos shaka fluid so special i'll break it down first of all it is an australian sunscreen I did mention in my last video on sunscreens that Australia has the best sunscreens in the world. Yes, and that is a fact. This is because they have crazy sunshine over there and the rate of skin cancer is very high. And because of that, the government, they have a very strict regulation when it comes to sunscreen. And that is also one of the reasons why I decided to review some Australian sunscreens in this video. After Australian sunscreens are uh, European sunscreen. The EU is also very strict about sunscreen regulations. So you tend to get products with very high sun protection in these places. This La Roche Posay sunscreen comes in a very cute bottle. The texture is very, very lightweight. It's like a fluid and very easy to apply. As you can see in this video, it blends so easily into your skin, leaving no greasy residue behind. And this is a game changer for those of us who hate heavy, sticky, um, that heavy sticking feeling that some sunscreens will give. Another amazing thing about this sunscreen is that it leaves no white cast, like zero white cast. And this is a big deal for a lot of us. You don't have to worry about looking like a ghost because you want to use a sunscreen to protect your skin. And the best part is that it is suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. The La Roche Posay brand is known for creating very, very skin friendly formulations. Yes, they have very mild formulations and it is non comedogenic, which means that it is not going to clog your pores and cause acne or breakouts. It is also fragrance free, which makes it very gentle, even on the most sensitive skin. I'll give the sunscreen a 10 over 10. Okay. So the next sunscreen on my list today is the Bondi Sand Face Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus. Just in case you are not familiar with the Bondi Sand brand, they are also an Australian brand. So the Bondi Sand Face Sunscreen is a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects you against UVA and UVB rays. This means that it shields your skin from sunburn and also shields your skin from, you know, skin aging. 
this sunscreen is also water resistant which means that you can use it in the day you're going for a swim okay my favorite thing about the bondi sand um, face spf 50 um, plus sunscreen is at first glance it looks like it is very thick and you have to spend like 10 minutes trying to rub it in and blend it into your skin but the truth is that it takes less than five minutes to blend it in the texture is really impressive it comes in a 75 ml bottle and this should last for a while because it is just for the face they also have the bondi sands um, body sunscreen and that one comes in 150 ml and it is for the body the only downside that you may experience with this sunscreen is that some skin types may find it a bit too heavy for their skin aside from the fact that this sunscreen might feel a bit too heavy for some skin types this sunscreen leaves your skin feeling dewy and glowy for the entire day until you wash your face or until you reapply when using this sunscreen please try your best to avoid the eye area as much as possible here because this sunscreen tend to slightly sting the eyes when it comes in contact with your eyes so try your best to keep it away from the eye area other than that i think this sunscreen is a 9 over 10. if you're someone that most sunscreens always feel heavy on your face you might want to gravitate towards um japanese or korean sunscreen which is what i'll be reviewing next okay the third sunscreen on my list is the skin aqua uv super moisture gel spf 50 plus this is a japanese brand yes and it has a pa of four pluses if you don't understand what pa means please go and watch <laughs> the video in the pinned comment if i start explaining all these things this video is going to be too long and i want to focus on the focus of today okay so skin aqua is also a broad spectrum sunscreen and i believe at this point you already know what a broad spectrum is what a broad spectrum sunscreen is the brand says that it is a super moisture gel but it doesn't look like a gel it is actually a fluid like consistency i think i have one let me bring it so this is it This is not a gel, okay? It has a fluid like consistency. And one of the standout characteristics of this skin aqua sunscreen is that it is super, super lightweight, as you just saw in the video. It is non greasy. The sunscreen absorbs quickly into the skin and it leaves behind this matte feeling. So if you have an oily skin or a combination skin, this is something you might, you know, want to try. And this sunscreen dries up very, very fast. So you have to rub it in very fast so that it doesn't leave a patchy application. It also has this um, strong alcoholic scent that goes away in like one minute after application. So it may not really be something to worry about, but might not be the best for sensitive skin. The first time I used this sunscreen, I used it um, close to my, I used it close to my eye area and I felt this sensation around my eyes, but I only noticed is in the first few the first few times i used it but after a while it went away okay what i love the most about this sunscreen is the matte finish because i hate it when my skin is oily after applying a sunscreen and it doesn't leave behind a white cast you cannot even tell if i'm using a sunscreen or not the skin aqua sunscreen comes in two sizes uh 110 grams and 140 grams so i'll give this sunscreen a 9 over 10. I know there is a general rule that in order to get adequate protection from the sun, you have to reapply your sunscreen every two hours. This can be very inconveniencing if you have makeup on. And that is why I have decided to also review sunscreens that you can reapply even though you have makeup on. Okay, so the next sunscreen I'll be reviewing today is the Isentry Hyaluronic Acid Airy Sunstick SPF 50. This is a sunstick formulated with hyaluronic acid and you all know that hyaluronic acid is very good for hydrating the skin and it also contains ice plant extract which is rich in antioxidant i do not really expect much from sunscreens aside protecting me from the sun but when a sunscreen protects and also hydrates your skin and also works as an antioxidant then that is a great sunscreen that is a perfect sunscreen okay how do you use the sunscreen so just turn the dial on the bottom to expose the sun stick just similar to how you use a lipstick the same way you apply a lipstick apply to the exposed area and reapply as often as 
you need it this sunscreen stick is soft and easy to apply it's very comfortable it doesn't break it doesn't crumble it has a light um scent and it leaves no white cast it absorbs into your skin very very fast okay so it's very easy to use i have a combination skin which means i have dry and some oily areas i'm not a fan of sunscreens that leaves my face looking oily but i love hydrating products because they work better for my skin and that is why this is my favorite sun stick ever it is super easy to apply it glides effortlessly on your skin it doesn't leave a white cast it is not sticky it is not tacky generally i don't rely on just sun sticks for my sun protection i prefer to use my sunscreens first something like this then for replication i use the sun stick because it is convenient when i'm on makeup and i'm barely on makeup so most of the time so you can just put it in your bag and reapply on your face every two hours whether you're at home or you're in the office it's like one of the most convenient way to actually reapply your sunscreen one of the common struggles that comes with using sun stick is that it is hard to reach areas like you know these parts of your nose but if you look at this isn't really sun stick it is shaped in a way that it has a wide and narrow end which can help you get into areas like the size of your nose and you know any other place that you can get to easily the only not so good thing about the sunscreen is that it comes in a 22 gram bottle which is really small which is really really small yes but since it's just for the face i don't think it's a bad idea yes plus the size also makes it very easy to carry around comfortably just throw it in your bag and nobody knows i'll give the sunscreen a 10 over 10 okay so if you are one of those people that you do not have power to rub anything on your skin sunscreen or sun sticko you don't have the strength to do all those things then a sunscreen spray is what you need but it's advisable that you first of all apply your sunscreen this type on your skin first before you use the spray sunscreen sprays are a lightweight alternative for you know on the go application and this will protect your skin without disrupting your makeup it is very easy to pick up your pick it up from your bag and just pa, 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 every two hours and you're good to go this actually makes your application very easy that is the truth but make sure that you apply your sunscreen first before you start using the sunscreen spray as your application an example of a good sunscreen spray is the La Roche Posay Antelos Anti Shine Invisible Fresh Mist Spray. This is also a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects you against UVA and UVB rays. And this sunscreen is perfect. It is mild. It is great for sensitive skin and it leaves your skin feeling refreshed and hydrated upon application. It also gives this matte effect, which is, you know, very, very suitable for oily skin you can use this on your makeup and it will absorb in seconds without disrupting your makeup this is a very convenient way to reapply your sunscreen so if you don't want to rub anything you don't want to start applying sunscreens on your face again you can just you know use the sun the sunscreen spray and you are good to go okay with options like the sun stick and the sunscreen spray you don't have an excuse for not reapplying your sunscreen these are alternative ways to make it convenient for you all right so that will be all on sunscreens today i hope that i covered every area i hope that every skin type was you know i dealt with every skin type there's something for you in this video like i said i hope that i covered every area and for every skin type i believe there's something for you in this video all right so thank you guys for watching if you are yet to subscribe to my channel i don't know what you are waiting for please subscribe to my channel all right so loves i'll see you guys in my next video until then stay beautiful stay blessed stay youthful stay hydrated stay protected all right bye